I feel so stupid. All right, Jeff here. I am back. Let's blow through this uh, last batch of Black Friday products that I bought. As I mentioned in a couple videos ago, I bought a bunch of stuff from Girdle Music. These are all the three major, if you're not familiar, the three major Christian rock and metal um, distributors, publishers. They do a lot. Girdle Music, I've already shown a lot of their stuff because they came quickly because they're, they're close by. Uh, Boone's Overstock, it, it's going to be what uh, Retroactive Records is mainly uh, carried through them and, and other you know other stuff that they carry. And Rocks Records, which was the last couple videos I showed. Rocks Records is way over in California. I'm over here in Virginia. That's the package that I've been talking about all these weeks because it was shipped November 22nd and it showed up just a couple days ago. That was the one that was kind of lost in transit or just kind of stuck out there and the tracking didn't move until you know almost four weeks later so the the boons overstock stuff it was in transit for getting close to three weeks um and it finally did show up it actually showed up on sunday so interesting enough the mailman delivered on sunday so it contained two things first off they sent the stuff that i got for black friday but they also at the same time shipped me the latest limited run vinyl again if you're not familiar with limited run vinyl these three labels have gotten together and released classic things and other things on vinyl in limited run obviously and usually that is one to two to three hundred pieces and then it's gone so the latest one that was released was the second paradox album so earlier this year they released the uh, ruler album on vinyl and on cd and now we have the power and glory on vinyl and CD and so sticking with the original version this is the cover it was black and white Scott Waters did the layout and everything and he basically wanted to they kept it in the look and feel of the original these were just released on custom you know pretty high quality uh, cassettes self produced I mean self release cassettes I wouldn't even call them demos they were they were some of the higher quality stuff this is one of those bands that we don't know why they didn't get signed. It was one of the best metal bands in the late 80s and early 90s. And they should have been signed. We all loved them. I know they were just a favorite. And so it's great to have them now officially remastered on CD and, uh, and on vinyl, both for the first time. Because like I said, they were only on cassette originally. Now the thing nice about this, this was their second and it was an EP. It only had a couple songs, uh, five songs. Now, this was shortly after their second guitar player had passed away. I think it was a, it was a car wreck, I believe, was, was killed in a car wreck. So they have a song on here, uh, Sweet Reunion, which is a mellow song dealing with uh, when they see him one day. It was, it was an ode to him. But on, now, the band did these two, and then you didn't hear a whole lot from them. They put out a song on, on this compilation album, and they had a song on this compilation album type things. So what we've got on side B of these releases are those songs pulled together so you've got give a listen from the big rage volume uh one and called and chosen which is a demo we are the temple brave new music version and then a sweet reunion which is an accompaniment track so you can sing along so they pulled in some of the songs that were stragglers out there there was actually another a third release called wrath i have a cdr version of that that the band sold I do believe, I think there's been rumblings in the underground that that one's coming too. So we should get that and any other tracks that they may have released. But that, you know, that's yet to be announced or anything. Right now we've got this. It's got the original, you know, inside stuff. It's got cool picture collage there and the lyrics and everything. Yeah, you can see here, this is what the original cassette looked like. Had that cover and then had some words on the front. CD has all the same tracks. This also, like some of the more recent ones, it comes with one of these, you know, it's got foil lined card. It's like a little trading card, something extra they throw in here. A little information there on the back. And it's got a full, you know, it's got a booklet and everything here. It's got a write up in here from Doug Van Pelt, and the singer Manny has, you know, contributed some stuff here. So, um, love the artwork. Yes, 
So we got that. And I also picked up this. This was a Black Friday sale. This is one of the limited run vinyl releases that I've been kind of holding off on. I have the CD. I like the CD. But, you know, I've been not buying much of the more extreme metal releases. Because I could, you know, take it or leave it in most cases. And some of them I have on CD and I'm just like I you know I don't want to spend the higher price for the vinyl but when they dropped the price because of the sale I got a hill to die up on I love this album I love all of their stuff they're one of the more uh, one of the extreme bands that I, I appreciate them more you know their vocal styling is a little more decipherable than some that I've heard um, and so I went I wanted this one and I have had it in my cart numerous times so there was no way I was gonna pass it up when the price dropped I pulled the trigger and so it comes on these are all random colors mine's kind of a I don't know what this is tannish kind of a tan brown gold it's kind of got a small a slight swirl to it it's got custom labels which are really let me pull that out of there really oops too much glare cool custom labels the artwork is just great stuff what you would expect from this style of band check them out that like i say they're one of the more extreme bands that i really got into now the rest of what i got from boone's overstock were cds and this is just like i talked about in previous uh videos for what i do for black friday as i tend to want to scoop up things that i have put on hold or have you know to try to catch up with some of the stuff I want on CD that I've been buying on vinyl and didn't want to pay for the CDs or things that just came out uh, that just you know were in between just money you only go so far deny the fallen I've actually had a digital copy of this since it was released I think it was 2018 this is a 2020 version I actually reviewed this for the band for Heaven's Metal magazine, and so the band sent me a bunch of promo stuff, and uh, and so I had a copy of this, but this is just basically the official and the an, an, a second reissue of the uh, of a CD version. Now it's got some famous names in here, but most famous would be Ray Para for those of you who are familiar with Sacred Warrior, one of the early '80s power metal bands that we all loved. So he's back on here. This is definitely more of a modern metal feel. So they've got some videos out there. And so I just figured I would go ahead and pick that up because all I had was a digital. Let's see. I picked up a couple of the recent deliverance reissues. Now, honestly, like this is just basically Scott Waters redid the cover. It's the same 2007 mastering of the original, which I have. But, you know, it's an upgrade copy with the upgraded artwork. This is what Jimmy the singer had envisioned, and Scott did it. This, is, this came out quite a while ago. And then this is, I actually, the copy I have of this, originally got was because, again, I reviewed this back in the day, a handful of years ago, for Heaven's Metal. So I have a copy from the label, but you can see it says, you know, uh, it's a promotional copy got different artwork it's got a bonus little recap preview it comes you know looks fairly legit it is a CDR though so for years I've had this CDR promotional copy so I figured you know I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get the another reissue effect with a bonus track actually so you know it made sense to go ahead and get that Gideon's Army rock and roll for your soul now, oddly enough, Gideon's Army has three albums out and retroactive or, yeah, retroactive reissued all three of them a handful of years ago. I picked up one of them and then I picked up this one and, I, and I'm not quite recalling exactly what happened during this time, but their first, their other album, Grace, I know I had that in my cart. It might have been another order that I didn't place. I don't know why I didn't just grab all of them. So I rectified that and I went online real quick and took some of the Christmas money I got and went ahead and grabbed the third one. So I've had old copies of these for years, but I wanted to grab all three of them. 
classic rock. They started in the late seventies, early eighties, and so they, you know they're just kind of a a hard rock and stuff. And I've always been I've been a fan since the eighties, and you know they've been reissued, remastered, cleaned up, really nice. So I grabbed that. The bleed. Take back a life. Now this is Rex Carroll. Rex Carroll is guitar player from White Cross, and he's done a lot of other things, but he's a shredder, really great. This is more him and Tim Bouchong. Now he is the singer guitarist for Love War, which I showed recently a CD reissue of theirs, and their first album has been is coming, limited run vinyl. Love them all the time. Tim is also, he's done a Christmas album that is just top notch. He does a lot of production for bands. He's highly involved with like Grave Robber that uh, he does their production stuff and appears on some of their projects. So he's, you know, does a lot behind the scenes and appears on a lot of things. Now this album came, this was actually a reissue from Retroactive in 2011. Now what it is though, is this was originally released on Rugged Records in 1996. Now, musically, this has a very 90s sound. Um, it's not like White Cross melodic metal stuff. And it was released under the band name The Bleed. So that's why they call it now Rex Carroll and The Bleed. And so the uh, album was called Ouch. And this uh, 2011 reissue features all new artwork, has been digitally edited and remastered. This has been out for a handful of years. I've seen it come and go didn't really pay attention but when it was on you know a super sale black friday i grabbed it same with this one this is a reissue of prepare for the judgment of mankind by temple of blood i already have original copies of their two albums they're like a thrash band and like a thrash band they are a thrash band and this was reissued in 2018 and i've heard some of the tracks and it's much cleaner and just, you know, a little more polished remastered edition. So it was only 500 copies, and I've got number 78 of 500. And so I wanted to get an upgraded version. Again, the price was right. I had kind of ignored it because I'm like, I don't need it again. I got the original. It's not like I play it all the time, but, you know, for the price, not only do I want to support the bands and the ministries that make these, but I wanted to go ahead and get the updated version. So I grabbed that. Now, that's all the Boone stuff that I got. It's mostly the CDs. Now, one other thing that did show up today is the new Raven Metal City. Now, this came from Amazon. Here's what happened. I pre-ordered this months before it came out on Amazon. I think the pre-order price was like $19. And then Amazon kept writing me saying, it's, it's, you know, it's coming. We don't know when. Do you want to keep waiting? Do you want to keep waiting? I kept saying, yes, wait, yes, wait, yes, wait. Do you want to cancel? No, let's wait. And I kept getting these emails weeks after weeks after weeks, months after the, this has been out for a few months now. And then I noticed on Amazon, the price went up to like $40. No, I don't want to cancel my $20 order because then I'd have to buy it again for $40. So I kept waiting. I don't recall ever getting a notice that this was shipped, but then again, there's been a lot of Christmas stuff from family members that I get a lot of notifications from Amazon. This was shipped, this was shipped, and I haven't paid attention. And this showed up on my door today. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even know that's what it was. I didn't buy a record. And then I opened it and said, oh, I did, you know, many months ago. And uh, it is on purple. I do have the digital tracks for this that I've been listening to since it came out. And it's a great album. It's a great album. They have a new drummer. It's just a whole new life in the band. It's just so powerful. They sound great. It's got these cool cartoony looking comic book looking stuff on the there so yes it's a great album great new release beautiful purple and it finally showed up thank you amazon uh like i say the price was right i'm glad i they kept the price at the uh, original <laughs> pre-order price that is all that is all that is caught up that is everything that i have received recently so, there. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. There are a few straggler things coming in from here and there. Nothing major. But cool stuff. Rock on.